Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about Webpack, understand what it is and why it is a great tool for modern web development. So what is Webpack? In simple terms, Webpack is a powerful tool that helps you manage and bundle your JavaScript files along with other assets like CSS, images and even HTML. Think of it as a bundler for your web application. It takes all these files and bundles them into few optimized files, making our website faster and easier to manage. Webpack also transpiles modern JavaScript code ES6 Plus into older version that the browser can understand. Let's take a look over at key advantages of using Webpack. The first one is Webpack bundles our modules. It can take all of our JavaScript files and their dependency and bundle them into single file or a few smaller files. The second one is code splitting. This means we can split our code into smaller chunks and load them only when they are needed. Third one is loaders. Webpack uses loaders to transform our files. We can use loaders to pre-process our files from bundling. For example, we can use Babel loader to transpile our modern JavaScript code into the version that's compatible with older browser. The fourth one is plugins. Webpack has powerful plugin system. We can use plugins to optimize our bundle and manage our assets. For example, we are going to use HTML Webpack plugin to generate an HTML file that is going to include all of our bundle assets. All right. The next one is development server. Webpack has a built-in development server, which is going to make the development process easier. The Webpack dev server supports hot module replacement, which basically means we can see our changes in real time without needing to refresh the page again and again. Let's now set up a React project using Webpack from scratch. We will start by creating our project folder and I'm going to name it as Webpack React and then navigate inside to your project folder and then run the command npm init y to initialize it as a Node.js project. This is going to make the package.json file into our project, okay? Then inside our project folder, we are going to make another folder that is going to be public. And inside the public folder, we are going to have index.html file. We will also need one another folder that is going to be the source. And then inside the source folder, we will have app.js file. And then we will have another file also inside the source folder, which is going to be index.js file. And let's now open this project into the VS code. In this project, we are just going to follow the same folder structure, which is used by create react app. All right, open the index.html file present into our public folder. So basically this is our simple HTML file with a root div where our React app will be mounted, okay? And then in our index.js file, we are importing the React DOM from its library. And we will also have another component which is going to be named hello, which we will make in just a few seconds. And then we are rendering our hello component into the root div. Okay, let's now create our hello component. So for that, in the source directory, we are going to make component which is going to be named hello.jsx. So in this hello.jsx file, we just have a simple functional component that is going to be hello. And down over here, we are exporting it. And inside this hello component, we have a heading one of hello world and then a paragraph, which is just a random text. Okay. So that is what we are going to have for this hello.jsx file. So let's save this file and also index.js file. Before we move on, we need to install React and React DOM. So for that, let's open the terminal and in here we are going to run the command npm install react react DOM. And this is going to generate the node modules folder and in the package.json file in the dependency section, you should have react and react DOM. Next, we will install the build tools that we need such as Webpack, Webpack CLI, HTML Webpack plugin and a Babel loader. 
So for that in the terminal, let's run the command npm install dash dash save dash dev webpack webpack cli html webpack plugin and a babel loader and once we have all of the dev dependency over here let's now move ahead and create our webpack configuration file so in the root directory create a file named webpack.config.js and now in this webpack.config.js file we first start by importing all of the necessary modules path is a node.js module that will help us handle the file paths and html webpack plugin is going to generate an html file that is going to include our bundled javascript next we are going to define the webpack configuration object inside which we will have the entry property that is going to specify the entry point for our application basically this is where webpack is going to start building the dependency graph in our case we are setting it to index.js file which is present into the source directory so that means our index.js file is going to be the entry point then we configure the output. The output property tells Webpack where to output the bundled files. File name that you see over here is the name of our output file and in our case it is going to be main.js file. And the path is the directory where the output files will be placed. Next we are going to set up the plugins. Here we are using the HTML Webpack plugin to generate an HTML file based on our template which is present in public forward slash index dot html file and then we are going to define the module rules module property defines how different types of modules are going to be treated we use the rules to specify loaders for different file types so here we have the rule for our javascript and jsx file in this rule we are using bubble loader to transpile our javascript and jsx file and the test property specifies the file types to match exclude is going to ensure that we do not transpile files which are present into the node modules directory and use over here it is going to specify the loader and its option and here we are using bubble presets to transpile modern javascript and react code and that's our webpack.config.js file and that's how we configure webpack for our project in this configuration file we have set up webpack to bundle our javascript files use bubble to transpile the jsx and generate an html file with our bundle okay so let's now save this file and open the package.json file and here we are going to add the script to run the webpack in production mode so in the script section you have to add another script that is build which is going to run the webpack in the production mode and let's now save this file before running this build script we need to install some packages that we will be needing such as this bubble loader it is going to need the bubble package which is going to be bubble core in order for this to work and we will also need bubble to convert our jsx components into js right so for that we will also need preset react and then to ensure that our javascript code is supported by the browser we are going to use preset env we can install all of these packages by running the command npm install dash dash save dash dev and all of the package that we now set okay and then let's hit enter and there we have all of the packages that we needed and now we can run this build command so let's close all of these files and open this and let's now run the command npm run build and you can see it says webpack compile successfully and there we have this build folder into our root directory inside which we have this index.html file and main.js file which is going to contain all of our javascript files let's now have a support for css file so we will start by creating a css file in the source directory let's create another file and name it as main.css and we do not need this app.js file actually it was index.js so let's move it to trash 
okay so now that we have main.cs file inside which we are going to just have a css for heading one let's say color red okay and then let's have another styling for paragraph and let's say color blue okay and let's now save this file and now we need to import this main.css file into hello.jsx component just like this and let's save this file for webpack to handle the css file we need to install mini css extract plugin and css loader so open the terminal and let me just clear this and then run the command npm install dash dash save dash dev mini css extract plugin and css loader and let's hit enter and in the package.json file we have this plugin over here and css loader perfect and open our webpack.config.js file in this file we need to have the rules for our css file so in this file we start by importing our mini css extract plugin to extract the css file into the separate files and then we need to add the plugin to our webpack config so down over here bring the mini css extract plugin just like this and now we will use this plugin to extract the css so in this rules down over here after this rule let's declare the rule for css this rule it is going to use the css loader to handle the css imports in the javascript file and the mini css extract plugin dot loader it is going to extract the css into separate files and the test property it is going to match the files with the dot css extension and those are the changes that we will need for css okay so let's now save this file and open this close this file open this build folder and also the terminal and over here let's run the command npm run build again and you see it has compiled successfully and the main.css file was generated into this build folder and inside this file we have the css that we declared over here into the source directory now let's add support for our image files for that let's create a new component that is going to be image.jsx file into the source folder and here i have brought the image that i am going to need and then in this image.jsx file we are going to import our image and then we create another functional component that is going to be icon and inside it we bring in our image we set its width to 64 and height to 64 and then finally we export the image and let's now save this file and in the hello.jsx file let's import our image so let's say import icon forward slash image.jsx okay and then down the paragraph tag let's bring in our component just like this and let's now save this file and then we also need to declare the rules for our image files in the webpack.config.js file so below the css rule let's have the rule for our images so this is the rule that we are going to have to handle the image files with the extension png jpg jpeg and svg and the type which is set to a set forward slash resource is going to tell the webpack to emit these files to the output directory and return their urls and open the terminal run the build command again and inside this build folder there you will have your image last but not the least we want to make our web development easier right so for that we can use the built-in webpack dev server for it we need to install the webpack dev server for that let's open the terminal and in here let's run the command npm install dash dash save dash dev webpack dev server okay and after it is done installing we need to add a script in our package.json file so this is the script that we need to add to our package.json file and now when we run the command npm start the webpack is going to start the development mode so let's open the terminal first of all let's save this file then open the terminal and run the command npm start and here you will see that it has started on localhost 8000 and this is it we are on localhost 8080 and it has started our server so split the screen 
and try to make changes in real time. Let's do that. So let's go to main.css file and over here let's change the color to blue and let's save this and you see it is working in real time and we do not need to manually reload this page for the changes to appear okay once again let's change this color let's set it to black and there we have the paragraph color set to black but now if you look over at main.css file which is present into our build folder it will have the same old style as we had earlier but now you can do the changes without having to reload this browser again and again with the help of webpack dev server and to apply the changes that we have done over here to the main.css file present into the build folder, we will have to run the command npm run build. So let's run the command npm run build and you see the main.css file in the build folder changed to what we have in main.css file present into the source directory. And there you have it. We have set up a React project with the Webpack from scratch, including the support for CSS, images, and development web server. And that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, then please do not forget to like and subscribe. Also, if you have any doubts, please drop them into the comment section. I will be happy to help. And I'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye-bye and take care.